Hey guys, so welcome back. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of bored. So I decided that I'm going to try to make a painting, <laughs> essentially. Like, you guys seem to like the golden tree, which like is one of my personal favorites that I've done. Um, so I decided to use this it's 16 by 12 canvas and we're gonna see how this goes so it's a little ambitious I'm a little nervous to screw it up but we're gonna have fun uh, so one of my favorite big cats is actually snow leopard and I just I absolutely love the color of their eyes <laughs> like it's just so mesmerizing uh, oh also, exciting news, you might notice the angle that you guys are at. I finally got tripods. <laughs> so you are on the bigger tripod. And then I got a little like bendy arm one for like, I don't know, but I'm so excited. If you want a full tour of the tripods, I guess I can do that. Um, but anyway, I got tripods. I'm so excited. Hey, I'm gonna preference this. I'm gonna I'm gonna trace this. So I plan on doing more of a abstract kind of cartoon version of the picture. Like this is obviously I don't I don't know the artist. I didn't find it doesn't have a trade. It, I didn't have a watermark or anything like that. Um, and I specifically wanted a picture that didn't have a watermark. Um, so that way I'm not taking anybody's work. I mean, obviously somebody took this picture, um, and I, I don't know who, but amazing shot. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I wanted to take not somebody else's artwork and copy it, you know what I mean? Because, like, that just doesn't... It's never sat well with me, as far as tracing goes, unless it's something that I need to be very precise on. Like, there was a um, chair project for my senior year of high school, where I traced Jack and Dexter from the three main Jack and Dexter um, games. My cats are playing. Um, and that I needed to trace the actual characters, so that way I had them, their silhouette, correct. But as far as like the overall concept art, of that whole chair, it was very much original to me, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know if that's like a copyright problem or what, I, I don't know, when I was in high school I didn't quite research it, um, and that was kind of back when it wasn't really a concern, but I had a lot of fun with that chair. Back to the actual project, off on a tangent, but I wanted to take like an actual real life photo of a snow leopard and see what I could do with it creatively, creatively. But um, mostly today was so I could get out of my office. <laughs> um, so last weekend I cleaned my apartment, but I also spent a lot of time gaming or like watching videos on my computer and this is April 11th is when I'm filming this um, and obviously we're all, we all should be in quarantine and self-isolation as much as physically possible so I've been working from home which is not something that I've ever really done before quarantine and I've adjusted like far too quickly to it. <laughs> Um, to be quite perfectly honest, like day three, I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is this is my life now. <laughs> but um, I spend a lot of time in that one room in my apartment, um, so I just want to take a day. And besides getting these all ready to go, I wanted to not sit at my computer today. That is that is the goal. So we're gonna get creative. Claire, what you doing, baby? Yes, my goodness, Babcora. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, So, <laughs> I guess just a life update. We're doing fine. 
Um, my vet has been very good with, you know, giving me, or, or still being open, which I greatly appreciate. That way I can get Simon's insulin, otherwise I'd be panicking. <laughs> but um, Claire is also doing very well. She is over the moon excited that I'm quarantined. Um, she has been napping on me every afternoon. <laughs> and it's been interesting typing around here, but um, it was it was kind of funny. So my earbuds, my mic is here. Must you eat right now, Simon? Okay. You hear crunching or weird noises behind you? It's Simon. But anyway, my mic is right here. So Claire was actually like on my belly because I was reclined in my chair and she was purring. Well, the customer on the phone could hear her purring. <laughs> so we had a kind of a funny conversation about like, oh yeah, pets are just living it up right now. <laughs> and I know she is. But um, we're working on getting her weight down very slowly because that's what's healthy. Um, we're playing a lot more. And now that I'm home, we're having play, station, play sessions in the morning, afternoon, and at night. And I kind of like mix it up so that way she doesn't get bored. Like this morning, I don't have footage of it, sorry. But we were playing around. Um, even Simon got into it. It was kind of fun. Um, but just in general, getting her more exercise than she would on her own. And just hopefully over time, that will help her drop her weight down. So that way she's at a healthier weight. And obviously I want her to be happy and live a long life. We, we are doing good. Oh God. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get started on this and uh, hopefully the transfer goes well, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so upon cutting out the pieces, I realized that I was a dum-dum and I didn't quite uh, pay attention. See that? <laughs> One's a little bit smaller than the other, so I went back into Publisher, realized what I did. Um, so basically what I did in Publisher is I took the whole picture, cropped it to just the Snow Leopard because it was a wider, almost like square shot. Um, so I took it, made it a uh, portrait, basically. Um, and then took that, divided it in half, put it onto two pages, and then increased the size so that way I got it so that way it would not be itsy bitsy on my canvas. This one is eight inches this way. This one is six inches this way. So that's why the distance here is longer because the ratio of the photo caused that to happen. You know what I mean? So, I went back into Publisher and decided that because this paper, this piece of paper, is only 8.5 by 11 inches, and your printer can usually get 11 inches to print nicely, essentially. Um, I mean, obviously, you can fill the whole, like, page. But then I've run into the risk of it not coming out right. Um, so I just decided to make it 10 inches this way, which would be within the margins of printing and publisher or Word. And I would just have it be an inch centered on either side. Also note that after I printed this, I realized that as far as getting the more like cartoon outline of the cat, that while it's possible with this image, it would be easier with a more like contrast picture. So I printed this out. So I'm going to use this for tracing 
And then basically, so that way I didn't waste paper. Um, and I am going to be recycling, don't worry. Um, I'm going to use this as basically a reference photo. So when it's all said and done, I know what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, kind of fix my mistake. All right, good morning. So it is the next day. And this morning while I was drinking my coffee, I noticed that this ear kind of disappeared into like this cluster of spots. I've darkened up and thickened up this line and connected it to the spots down here. And then I also made this a little bit wider up here. And I think it really helps define that ear shape because there's a lot going on in this general area when it went from head, neck, to shoulder, to this front leg. It kind of got a little jumbled, which, I mean, is kind of understandable. I just went off of the dark spots on the snow leopard, so, I mean, it, there was bound to be some problem areas. So, I'm glad I gave it, like, a night to just kind of, like, let it sit and then look at it again this morning um, with a fresh pair of eyes. And as you can see, it is a lovely, snowy day here in Minnesota. So, I am gonna think on the color scheme. I'm thinking for the spots because of, you know, all of the pencil marks. Black is going to be my best option, especially if I want to do this in one coat. Because otherwise, if I have to do a second coat, I think I'm going to go insane. Yes, Simon. I don't know if you guys heard that. Are you sad that the birdies can't go outside and play? Alright, ignore me. But anyway, I'm going to figure out the color scheme. Um, I do have... I have this color, which I don't know why I bought a giant tub of it. I'm not 100% sure what I was going to do with it. But I might use it as the background because it is a very pretty blue. I think it would look really sharp with the black. I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts? Well, I mean, I'm going to have to decide. You guys can't really do input because this isn't going to be a series. But anyway, I'll let you know when I decide. So, as you can see, it is finished. Um, I, or at least the, the dots are finished. Um, I'm super happy with how it turned out. I am gonna leave it to dry, and plus I need a break. Um, and then I'm going to, I don't know if you guys can see, but there are, like, especially in the face, you can see the pencil still. Um, where I went a little, like, outside the lines, but anyway, um, I think letting it dry and then carefully going in and trying to erase the pencil marks will help create
crisp it up. I need some food. I need a break. Um, and we'll be back for another round. Okay, so I started like using the blue and I didn't I was hoping that it was still going to be like okay to use. But it turns out it's very old and very watery and it's just creating a mess and it's extremely hard to work with and it's not looking like it looks fine from far away, especially like the up top section, but like just mm -mm, mm -mm, nope. Nope, nope, nope. So we're gonna leave it white. Um, I'm gonna let this dry and cover it with as many coats as need be. So that's what's gonna happen. It's just gonna be black and white and that's gonna be okay. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, just let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!